How's it going guys? Today at Taco Vinyl we're going to be installing our Pro Grill camera bracket for both the stock camera and then also if you're going to be transitioning to an anytime camera bracket. That way you can have that front view and have it in the right position and have a look uh, basically OEM. So when you order a grill from us uh, with this camera bracket uh, it's going to come with this uh, hole in the center of it uh, where you're opting out of one of these in place of the camera bracket. With that grill, depending on which one you order, you're going to be getting a bracket for the OEM camera or a bracket for the Anytime camera. Okay. The whole installation and deinstallation of this, I just want to uh, mention real quick, we will link uh, in the description below. Uh, that way you can go and watch how to take it out of a vehicle like this and get it on the table. This is just going to be a more in-depth video on how to install these uh, onto the grill and more specifically utilizing the Anytime camera hardware and the pieces that we've created to give you a, a good field of view off the front of your vehicle. So to start out um, with this grill you'll uh, in the choice of camera you'll get an insert. Sometimes they'll be installed, sometimes they won't. Uh, meaning this this section of it it's not installed super easy installation this clips right into the back of the grill okay. and then you're gonna get a pack of screws similar to this okay don't use the silver ones we're only gonna be using the black ones so you can set those aside Put them back in the bag. What do we want to do? Then what we're going to do, uh, we're going to be doing uh, installing the anytime camera bracket. This right here will be actually mounting on the back side of the grill and 3Ming to the top uh, along with these mounting uh, uh, screw brackets. But first, before we install it, we want to install our anytime camera. In your anytime camera kit, you'll get all their hardware and switches and all the fun yeah just to go along uh, with that they will also include these uh, notch spacers to give you an angle on the camera to have appropriate field view they'll give you three and on this installation you'll use all three of them what you'll be doing is removing the 3m tape off the back but you'll be pushing these onto the camera one by one creating a solid platform for which the camera will angle off of. Then once you get the all three of them onto the back of the camera, we will supply you with this spacer. On the spacer, it has a slight angle to it. And the front and back here, you want it angling up kind of toward the camera. It's gonna allow the shaft to fit through it a little bit better so that when we go to harness it onto the bracket it'll hold uh, firm. We're then going to pass everything through the front of the camera. Okay with the shaft only sticking out so far. You're then going to take the nut for the back of the camera. The camera's threaded shaft and then Press it on there, you will have a slight angle on it, which is fine. Get your camera all perpendicular, and you can use a crescent wrench or some sort of wrench to just snug it up. Okay. At that point, you can add a little piece or a little drop of like glue or a like super glue to keep things orientated and then to keep the nut from slipping off. You could use a little bit of Loctite if you wanted to, uh, but from just this pressure, we've had good luck with just doing this. Okay. Now that you have your proper spacing off of the bracket, you're going to remove the three M adhesive like so. You want to make sure to clean the surface uh, right here on the grill. Show you guys right here on that side of it. That's where this three M tape is going to here, clip the front of that, okay. I'll 
that's in. You're then gonna put, be able to apply your screws. Try to push here. Screws go in the back. Don't go too tight, just watch it all kind of snug up. Uh, Cause if you strip these, then you're kinda out of luck. Trying to re-thread it. You can use a bigger screw. Is always an option. Just go light. Just make sure it all kind of comes together, and that it isn't going to wiggle. So in the end, that is the end product. Um, as you can see here, the departure angle. Uh, we tried to protrude the camera out as far as we could, so you could get as much ground visibility, uh, while also trying to maintain that OEM look. Um, all black hardware, so it keeps it very stealthy. Um, looks like it's meant to go there. Um, yeah. Apart from this, uh, on the stock one, it's applied the same way, except the adhesive's on the top. And then on, on the back of the stock camera, there's some screws. You literally pass the camera through. You put the screws back on the back of the camera. Um, you can then put back on the housing and then plug it back in straight into the stock uh, wiring harness that you have it in. They're both installed the same way with the same cutout. So the field of view is going to be very, very, uh, very similar. Uh, this solution came about due to things like this, uh, where people would just tape them on or they'd try to put them on the bottom side. It would interfere with the camera. In this way, you're still maintaining an OEM look eliminating any uh, janky installs, having the camera fall off and whatnot, and having something solid that looks like it uh, looks onium on the front of your vehicle. So, um, with that guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to email us or call us. Uh, we're here for you. Uh, Matt, we'd appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.